Last video for unit seven is the revision exercise. Um, and then at a later point, I will put up some videos for unit nine, which is a continuation of the equations. So for question one of unit seven's revision on page 69, you have more of those word ones. So question A says, when I divide a number by nine, the answer is four. So divide a number. So X is a number divided by nine equals four. How do I undo division? I multiply. So I'm going to multiply by nine on both sides. And so the X gets by itself. Four times nine is 36. For B, if I add 48 to a certain number, so add 48 to X, I get 87. So X plus 48 equals 87. How do I undo addition? I take it across and then I subtract. Then for C, when I multiply a certain number by 15, so 15 times X is 15X, it's equal to 75. So I'm multiplying by 15, so I've got to divide to cancel out. But once I divide on one side, I need to balance it out on the other. 75 divided by 15 is 5. For D, when I subtract 63 from a certain number, so X is what you have, you take 63 away from it, the answer is 27. So X minus 63 is equal to 27 instead of subtraction when I go to the other side to balance it out I use the inverse operation of positive addition 63 and then so x is by itself of x equals 90. For number two Tandy is six years older than Milani. Milani is 11 years old. How old is Tandy? So here you don't need x's or anything you just need to think what this is asking it's saying Milani is 11, Tandi is 6 years older. So 6 plus 11 is 17 years old. What number am I thinking of? Write an equation and solve for the required number. This is for number 3. A. When I add 4 and then divide by 2, the answer is 10. So think of your number as a certain number. That certain number is X. So I'm saying I'm picking my number is called X. When I add 4 to it and then divide by 2, my answer is 10. So my number plus 4 divided by 2, the answer is 10. So that translated into maths language is what we have here. So the first thing here we're going to work with is, now normally we would try and do this plus 4 first. But the problem is it's all on one fraction. So this whole thing is together. So in this case you want to get the 2 away first by timesing by 2. So times by 2 on both sides. And then now it's like you've freed open the numerator. So the whole x plus 4 is the numerator. But whereas in another question, um, we don't have one here. Let's just see. No, unfortunately, I don't have one here. But if you had x over 2 plus 4 separately like that, this is where the x is. So get that bit by itself first. Then multiply by the 2. But in this situation, we have x plus 4 over 2. That is one thing equal to 10. So you've got to get the numerator by itself by multiplying away the denominator first. Okay, so that's what's happening over here. So we get 10 times 2 is 20, and then our x plus 4 now is opened up as the numerator. Now I can get the x across, sorry, the 4 across to get the x by itself. So instead of adding, I'm subtracting. I hope that makes sense. x plus 5, sorry, x minus 5, Divided by 4 equals 3 is the translation of question B. If you subtract 5 and divide by 4, you get 3. So if you subtract 5 from your number, your number being x, and then divide by 4, your answer is 3. Again, this is one big fraction. The 5 is trapped at the top of the x. So how do I untrap it? I've first got to get rid of the denominator. 
Okay, so you only move the, the five across first if it was separate to the fraction. But because it's part of the fraction, you've got to deal with the fraction body first, which is the denominator. So I need to times by four here, which gets me 12. Then I'm going to take my negative five across, and it, instead of being negative, I say it's positive now. Oh, sorry, five. 12 plus 5 is 17. Okay, then moving on to C, the last one for question 3. 2n plus, so it says if you double the number and add 15, you get 21. So the number n, p, q, x, whatever you want to call it. So you're doubling 2 times your number and then you add 15 to it, you get the answer of 21. So 2n is... We need to get by itself, so we're going to take the 15 across. Instead of adding, we're going to subtract, and you're left with 2n equals 6. To get n by itself, we're multiplying by 2, so to undo multiplying, we divide by 2 on both sides. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Again, you could have used an x in your letter. Then for question 7, 8 and 9, there were some more wordy problems. Mandela promised to give his mother two ninths of his salary to help with the monthly costs. If he earns 3,240 rand per month, how much does he give her? Now, the word of in maths means times. So, two ninths of 3,240 means you are multiplying the fraction by the number, which is 720 rand. For number eight. Ben needs to pack 7,680 apples into boxes that contain 24 apples each. How many more, how many boxes does he need? So it's dividing. So you have a certain amount of apples. You've got to put, you've got to break them up into groups of 24. Breaking up into groups is division. So 7,680 divided by 24 is 320 boxes. Last question for the section. It says, in a scalene triangle, ABC, AB is equal to 21.3 centimeters, BC is 19.2 centimeters, and AC is 20,4. Write down an equation for and calculate the perimeter of the triangle. So, perimeter is all the sides added together. So, it's your AB plus BC plus AC. It's the outside of the triangle. So it's A to B, if you'd walk along here, imagine it's like a triangular field, you're measuring the fence around it. B to C, and then that last stretch there. And then you just add up all the numbers and don't forget your units.